This is part 46 of AngularCRUD tutorial. In this video, we will discuss JavaScript objects and reference variables. Along the way, we'll also discuss why submitted data becomes null when the Angular form is reset and more importantly, how to fix it. This is continuation to part 45, so please watch part 45 before proceeding. We have our create employee form right here, which is already filled. All the form fields have got valid entries. And at this point, when we click the save button, we expect this new employee details to be saved. Now look what happens. The employee details are saved. We are redirected to the list route. And here is our new employee that we have just created. But notice none of his details are actually saved. In the component class, this is the method that is called when we click the save button. And notice here we have just three lines of code. This first line of code saves the employee object and then we are resetting the create employee form and finally navigating the user to the list route. And this is the line that's causing all our employee details to become null. Now let's comment this line and see what happens. If we comment this line, we are going to get our can deactivate route card confirmation, but that's okay. Let's navigate to the create route and fill our form one more time. Notice we have the JavaScript confirmation. Once I click OK, we are redirected to the list route and now we see all the employee details as expected. So this is the line that's actually resetting our employee details. Now let's understand why this is happening. When this reset method is called, all the form fields on our create employee form like name, email, etc. they are cleared out. And if you look at these input fields, notice the name input field is binding to the name property of the employee object. Similarly, the email input field is binding to the email property of the employee object. And if we take a look at our component class, the employee object is right here. So all these form fields are binding to these properties on this employee object. Now when we reset the form by calling the reset method, the form is reset, meaning all the form controls are cleared out. When that happens, since we are using two-way data binding by using the ng model directive, the associated properties in the employee object, which is our model object, they are reset. So name is set to null, gender is set to null, contact preference is set to null. All these properties of the employee object are set to null. And if you look at what's happening in the save method, we are passing that same employee object to the save method. So when the form is reset, this employee object that is passed to the save method, its properties are also reset. Before we discuss how to fix this issue, first let's understand the relationship between object and its reference variable. Object reference variables are pointers to objects. They are not objects themselves. Notice this line of code right here. It's actually doing two things. It's creating an employee object and a reference variable E1. The reference variable E1 is just a pointer to the employee object whose name is set to Venkat. Now, when we create another variable E2 and assign it the value of E1, it's not going to create another brand new employee object. Instead, it's going to create another reference variable E2 and that reference variable is going to point to the same object. Now, if you change the name property value to null by using the E1 reference variable, it's going to change the name property value in the object. And we know E2 reference variable is also pointing to the same object. So if we access the name property using E2 reference variable, the name property will be null because both of them are pointing to the same object. This is exactly what's happening in our case. Now let's take a look at another example. Notice here we're creating another employee object. E3 is the reference variable pointing to that object. Now notice this line of code. Here we are using object assign method. The object assign method helps us create a copy of an object. There are several ways to create a copy of an object. Object assign is one of the easiest ways. So to this object assign method, we're passing two parameters. The first parameter is an empty object into which all the properties 
of the second object in our case e3 will be copied over and then our reference variable e4 is pointing to that newly copied object. So at this point we've got two reference variables and two objects. Now if we change the name property value using e3 reference variable then only the name property of the object to which e3 reference variable is pointing to is affected. The other object to which e4 reference variable is pointing to is not affected. So if I try to access e4.name we still get Venkat. So let's use this approach to prevent our submitted employee object from becoming null. Back in our save employee method, first let's uncomment this line of code and what we want to do now is create a copy of this employee object. So let's use object assign method. The first parameter is our target object into which we want to copy over the employee object property values and the second parameter is our source which is the employee object. Now if I hover the mouse over this assign method, notice what it returns. It returns our copied employee object. So let's create a constant to store that employee object returned by this assign method. Let's name it new employee. And we know the type of this is employee so let's specify the type as well. And then we want to pass this new employee object to our save method. So at this point when the form is reset only this object which is bound to the form is reset but this object which is a copy is not reset so we don't lose the submitted employee details. Let's quickly test our create employee form one more time. There we go. We didn't lose any of the newly added employee details. That's it in this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.